It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small, small world. It's a fun in the morning. And it's a mean friend for everyone. And I'm a it's a high in the ocean. So I'm gonna throw up. Uh. Hey y'all, it's Annalise, and in this video, I'm rocking my new rainbow ears because today I'm talking about Disney stuff. And by Disney stuff, I mean what is in my Disney Parks bag. I feel that as of right now, I have kind of refined what I like bringing to the Disney Parks, specifically the California Parks, aka Disneyland and Disney California Adventure, but I'm sure I would be down to bring this stuff to other parks as well. Anyway, I digress if it is interesting to you to find out what I keep in my Disney Parks bag, then go ahead and keep on watching this video. So like I said, I have kind of refined what I like to take with me to the Disney Parks, especially this past summer. I went twice so far this summer, and that's gonna be it for this summer. I have gone twice in like the last month. I went from the 25th to the 28th of June, and then I just got back from a trip when I went from the 6th of July to the 12th of July for my birthday day trip. And on these two trips, I really refined what I like to keep in my Disney Parks bag. I kind of nailed it on everything that is pretty consistent, everything that I need versus things that I don't need because I am a chronic overpacker. And so I've kind of found out what makes me feel comfortable when I'm traveling to the parks to make sure that I feel like I'm well prepared for whatever situation is going to come to me as well as I'm the most comfortable. So pretty much in this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys my main two park bags as well as what are the contents inside of them, and then some other bags that I use maybe during different times of the year, for different occasions, whatever they may be. So if you're interested in any of that, go ahead and keep on watching, and hopefully this video can help you find out maybe what your perfect park bag will be. So starting off with the most important things, what bag am I bringing? So these, as of currently, as of summer of 2018, these are my two go-to park bags. The first being this lounge fly bag that is from the 35th anniversary celebration of Epcot and it is their mini backpack and this is a style of bag that Loungefly has made in like a thousand other prints. It's the exact same design of bag and dimensions for all these different bags. You've probably seen them in so many different styles but they're just using like a different fabric. So I absolutely love this backpack because it's nice when you want to be able to carry more things. But then another thing that I've been absolutely loving is going with a hip pack or a fanny pack and this is the Herschel 17 hip pack. The brand is Herschel, the style 17 it is a hip pack and it is your hip pack fanny pack whatever I love this color because it's nice and neutral it actually holds a surprising amount of stuff so what I did is I packed my park bag as if I was going to the parks right now and what I feel I would want to bring and or need so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of unpack this and show you guys as we go along so with this particular bag there's this front section there's the main compartment and there's these two little sections on the side so I'm gonna start here with of course you gotta bring a pair of sunglasses, especially if you're anywhere in the United States. Both of the parks in the United States get super bright and I have really sensitive eyes. So I just use these pockets for my sunglasses. They are also really nice pockets for phones, but I rarely put my phone here when I'm using this bag in the park just because I'm really scared of being pickpocketed. On this other side over here, this is something I've been taking with me kind of a lot, is a hand sanitizer just because I cannot stand sticky hands. Now in this front compartment here, the first thing I pull out is a lightning cable. I'll show you later, but I do have a power brick in here, but this is an extra lightning cable. If I'm traveling with somebody else who does have an iPhone, I want to make sure that they can also charge their devices. So like when I was with my mom, either I carried this or she carried this in her bag. The next thing we have is my wallet, which fits perfectly in this little pouch as well as your pocket. And of course, I've got the one, the only annual pass for Disneyland. I love having an annual pass. It's great. And the discounts and the parking and the max pass and the photo pass, all worth it. And if you guys watched my everyday carry video, you would know about the story of why I got this wallet, which is pretty much just for the parks. And now it is my go-to wallet, but it is, once again, the main inspiration for it was 
clothes for the parks and it works out great. Okay, next in here, I've got some hair ties floating around. Sometimes I bring this big carabiner of hair ties, but when it's in a bag like this, and especially if I'm going to the parks, I normally have like what I want my hair to look like planned. So whether it be braided or put up or whatever, but I do always like to keep, <laughs> that just went straight down my shirt. But I do always like to keep at least one, or I know there's another hair tie floating around in here somewhere, just in case of plans being changed with my hair. Next in here, I actually have my pin lanyard, my Disney pin lanyard. Now on this lanyard, which my mom got me for my birthday last year, I only keep pins on here that I'm wanting to trade. So that way it's less stuff that I'm carrying with me, as well as I don't lose any pins that I really care about or the pins that I just traded for. So these are all pins on here that I'd be willing to trade to somebody. I have already lost one pin that is one of my like willing to trade pins and it wasn't that big of a deal, but I just kind of noticed that it is gone and I don't know where it could have gone, but at least it wasn't a pin that I just recently traded and I like keeping them on this lanyard. Some people put them in bags, but I kind of like having them on the lanyard because sometimes I do want to wear it around my neck, but rarely do I do that. Okay, next in here, ooh, I've got chapstick. So I normally keep two chapsticks on me just in case I lose one. I just like keeping two lip balms on me or two chapsticks if I'm going to the parks just in case one falls out and I lose it. Next, I have my car key. So this is my key ring. It's a lot. It's long, it's heavy, it's a lot. Mainly it's heavy and it takes up a lot of room. So what I decided to do is like, I don't need my house key in the park, but I need to drive to the park and so I need my key. And I attached it to this little carabiner. One, because it just makes it to where it's not a black key floating around in the universe of my backpack. But I can clip this to things, whether it be a belt loop on my shorts or inside my bag, I can clip it in there so that way I know it's not going to go anywhere. But I really recommend downsizing on your keychain when you're in the parks. And the last thing in this little pocket are just some bobby pins. I have a lot of hair, but I have a lot of length of hair, less than a lot of density of hair. Contrary to what you might believe, it's actually easier for me to put my hair up in a bun with bobby pins compared to using a hair tie. So I like to keep some bobby pins in whether I want to pin my hair back or pin my hair in a bun. These are also just quick and easy and like easy to throw in your pocket or like clip to things so they don't get lost. When it's hot, you, the last thing you want is like nine feet of hair touching all on your sweaty back. And that does it for the front pocket. So when we open the main compartment, the first thing that I see up here, oh, is this little coin pouch. So in this coin pouch, I have specifically quarters and clean pennies. Now, if you're somebody who's been to Disney parks before, you probably know why I have just quarters and clean pennies in a coin pouch, and that is for penny pressing. So these are just some examples of like penny pressing that you get, and like different locations have a place where you can like, it pretty much squishes an image onto a penny. So this is a good example. This one I got from Fantasyland and it has Tinkerbell on the front and on the back it just says Disneyland and they had a whole series of like Fantasyland and Tomorrowland and all the lands of Disneyland and then this is a new one that my mom and I found which is a quarter pressing one and it's nice because it's like big and shiny and a lot more clear and it has C3PO on it but then you can see the benefit of having a clean penny versus a dirty penny is that it's a lot easier to see on a clean penny compared to this Astro Blasters one which unfortunately is not as easy to see. I don't carry this around on me all the time, but I went for my birthday, I went with a friend for his first time in Disneyland, and these are just fun little souvenirs that you can get, so sometimes I carry these around on me, sometimes I don't. Okay, next in my bag is a dad hat. Yes, these are all the rage right now, and I have to say, I used to love wearing hats when I was a kid. I had probably 25 hats that matched at least one of my outfits, so whenever I had an outfit on, I had a hat that was matching, I was a stylin' Wylan 10 year old, I was killing the hat game. And the Disney dad hats have brought back my passion for hats. And so this is one that I got a couple of days before my birthday, has a rose on the front, back it says tail as old as time. These hats are really awesome. All the dad hats like that you get from anywhere are really cool because the hat itself is not structured except the bill of the hat. So these actually roll up really easy. And just right now, kind of like, spoiler alert, there's a water bottle in here and it just kind of fits around this water bottle. It just fits really easy in whatever available space you have in your bag. So I like always having a hat on me and it's nice that I can fit in this bag if I don't wanna wear it. So the next thing I bring is fruit snacks and these are just really nice because I'm just somebody who gets like anxious when I travel. It's a weird thing, you know, huh? And I just don't eat or I rarely eat a lot or um, yeah. So these are really nice because maybe you're just walking around the park, you're getting a little grumbly and you're tumbly and you need something to hold you over. 
fruit snacks are great. I would not recommend these. These I got from Walmart. They are Kellogg's fruity snacks. They do not taste good. Keeping like this or granola bar in your bag is something nice to like hold you over while you're at the parks. Maybe you're waiting in a really long line or need to take medicine. Like those are a really cool way to stay not hydrated, satiated, unhungry. I don't know, but you know what I mean. Okay, next here is my power pack. So this is a 20,000 milliamp hour battery from Mophie. It is the Mophie XXL portable battery charger. It has three USB ports. It has a fast charging port. It has a slow charging port. I normally just keep a cable attached to here so that way I always know where it is. And then the other cable will be either in my front pocket or with somebody else. And this is really nice because you're probably gonna be using your phone for many things, whether it be using the app for your park. Every Disney park has a app. So please download it if you're going to a Disney park because you can do things like mobile ordering. You can check wait times. You can see where attractions are, what show times are, where bathrooms are, where characters are and what times they will be there. There are so many photo pass, max pass, fast pass plus. There are so, so many things you can do with the app. So download those, but you're probably going to be Instagramming and tweeting and Snapchatting, but Snapchat is dead. But you're going to be doing all these things, taking photos, taking videos, and your phone is probably going to die. Or maybe you're charging a GoPro or a camera or something like that. These are amazing. If you didn't know, your phone battery or any battery is measured in what are called milliamp hours. So to kind of give you a breakdown of how many times this thing can charge my phone, an iPhone 7 Plus has about 3,000 milliamp hours, and this has 20,000 in it. So this is gonna give me about six and a half, six, six plus, six or more charges on my phone. So what's nice about this is I can carry this around and I know I'm gonna be able to recharge my phone from zero to 100 a couple of times. And then this one here is a smaller one that I got. This is the Mophie Power Station XL. This thing has 12,000 milliamp hours, so I can get about four charges from it. This is obviously a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, so if you don't need as many phone charges, maybe you're not using a, your phone as much. I never kill this thing on a trip, and one day I, I've never done that, that I can recall. I've definitely done it with this one, but not with this one. So maybe you don't need as big of a one, but they are really great lifesavers no matter what devices you have. Okay, second to last thing is this is um, filled with medicine. So it has like aspirin and Advil and Tylenol in it. Maybe you have a specific medicine you need to take or whatever. These guys are just really great keeping some sort of small medicine carrier on you. I think carrying some sort of painkillers with you are great on the trip. So keeping Advil on you, you'll thank yourself later. And then the last thing I have in my park bag here is my Hydro Flask. This Hydro Flask is the 32 ounce wide mouth Hydro Flask. And I specifically got this one because of the fact that it fits perfectly in my lounge fly backpack. So if you have a lounge fly mini backpack and you are looking for a large water bottle that would fit in it, the 32 ounce wide mouth Hydro Flask fits perfectly, especially with this little lid that I have on here, which is taller than the lid that it comes with. And it fits on there perfectly. I like this because it makes it more of like a sport mouth and it's so much easier to drink out of, especially while you're walking around like, and then it's not spilling on you, which is great. My go-to Hydro Flask is my 40 ounce one, but as you can see, it's a lot taller. I love this thing, but I was so devastated when I got this backpack that I thought was so perfect and my Hydro Flask wouldn't fit in it. Because I figured if I'm carrying around a backpack and I can't even put my water bottle in there, well then why am I carrying a backpack? I can just carry like a hip pack or a purse or something, you know? So I did my research, found this guy. I love carrying a Hydro Flask because it keeps your water cool, but also just carrying around water. And then it does have a handle, so if I do want to take it out of my bag, I can. But anyways, all that stuff is what I had in just this little backpack. And it's such a nice little backpack because the back isn't too big, so your back isn't gonna get super sweaty. It does get a little heavy, especially with all the stuff that I carry, but not like crazy heavy, but it's just a perfect little bag that can fit everything you need and then some. Now you may or may not believe me, but everything I showed you, including the hat, including the battery charger, all fit in this 17 hip pack by Herschel. I love this thing. I chose this color scheme because it's kind of like denim, it's neutral. I know that bag isn't neutral, but I love Epcot. And so when I saw it, I was like willing to make the sacrifice for not being able to match everything. But this matches almost everything. I love it. It's comfortable. It fits a lot. It's also got a small little compartment and kind of a little clippy thing in here. So I clip my car key to there so I know it won't fall out. But it fits everything I want in here. And then if I bring this, I am going to 
opt for my 40 ounce hydro flask. If I'm gonna be carrying this in my hand anyway, why not have the one that carries more water? So definitely recommend this bag. It's pretty cheap. You can get it on the Zon. It's nice because you can extend this thing and kind of like sling it over your shoulder and carry it like a backpack dealio if you're getting tired. Also, there's a couple of rides that I rode where I just left this around my waist, which was nice because then you don't have to worry about like taking it off and hiding it under somewhere. It's just attached to you. But I like hip packs kind of a lot more than a backpack just because of the fact that I don't have to have like something on my shoulders and if I want to access anything in my bag, it's right in front of me instead of having to pull it off and rummage through it and then throw it back on my bag. It's just all here ready for me to kind of explore. The only thing that I obviously don't like about it is I can't put my water bottle in it. So that's kind of why I like taking my backpack more is I can be more hands-free and I'm definitely the person who needs a water bottle on them when I'm walking through the parks. But definitely consider a hip pack if you're looking for a awesome park bag, the Herschel 17 hip pack. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Now those two bags are my go-to bags, but also my go-to for summer. However, I do go to the parks during other times of the year as you may, and I have three more bags that might fit your needs better as well as they fit my needs better depending on when I'm going and what I'm doing. So starting off with another hip pack, this is actually from Disneyland itself. They sell it in the parks. It's a crossbody bag with a detachable strap. And then in this little secret compartment back here, you pull this out and it's the belt for a hip pack. And then you can just stow this thing away. And I really like this because of the fact that it's convertible from a over their body bag to a hip pack. It has a lot of pockets. It can also fit everything that I showed you. I have not tried the hat though, but I'd assume it would fit in here because it's tall enough. Yeah, it would probably fit in there. The only complaint I have about this bag, and this is something that both I and my mom experienced because my mom actually used this a lot on our last trip, is that this is not the most secure um, thing. It kind of like, I don't know how to explain this. It, 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 it slides really easy. I don't know if there's something I'm doing wrong or if there's something I can do better to where it doesn't slide as easy, but that is like my numero uno complaint. So if somebody has a fix for that, let me know. But otherwise, it's just nice that you can have a crossbody bag and a hip bag all in one. So it gives you options. The next bag I have used to be my perfect park bag because it is like perfect. It fits my 40 ounce hydro flask. It can fit my iPad. I'm not bringing my iPad to the parks, but it's just great for everyday life. It can fit a sweater in here. It can fit so much. But the weirdest thing happened when I went with my mom last year in the summer, you know, I put my sunscreen on. I was wearing a tank top because it was hot. We went to the parks and I took off my bag and my mom saw that there were black stripes on my arm. And after kind of some investigating, what we kind of deduced was that the leather or the faux leather was coming off on my arm. And I think what it is, is it's that I'm wearing sunscreen on my skin and then this is touching the sunscreen on my skin. And for some reason that's making some sort of residue come off of this. I got this from Target like two years ago. It's mostly most supply co. It's like, it's a perfect size bag for just like everyday life. And I use it a lot. I've used it before to where maybe I wasn't wearing, like I was wearing a shirt like this where my skin was exposed, but I was just maybe sweating. I wasn't wearing sunscreen and it didn't have that same effect. So I think it's just because of the fact that there was sunscreen and that got on my arms and it was kind of annoying. And then if you want to take a picture and then also you got like this weird black gunk on your shoulders, like that's not cute. So I don't use this bag anymore in the summer. But if I'm wearing like a short sleeve shirt or something that's covering my shoulders, I will use this bag just because it's so nice. Also, it has only a one way zipper, which can be kind of annoying, especially if you're trying to like charge your phone and lead the cable out. It only lets you lead it out on one side. So like that's annoying too. Otherwise, this is still a really cool bag. It's just a little bit bigger than this one. And sometimes you need a little bit more room. So my last bag that I use as like a go-to whenever I go to the parks is my North Face Wise Guy backpack, which if you watch any of my videos, you've probably seen me mention this. And this bag is just like a classic backpack. It holds a lot. Sometimes you want to bring a sweater with you to the park. Sometimes you just want to bring more stuff for whatever reason it may be. Maybe you're going with a group of friends and you've decided to all consolidate into one bag. The only reason why I don't like using it in the summer, especially when it's really hot, is because of the fact that this has no ventilation and my back gets really sweaty. That's pretty much it. It's a great backpack. Otherwise, like absolutely, I love this bag for everything. It's great for the parks. It's got like this nice pocket up here where I put my sunglasses. You know, you've got water bottle pockets. You got a pocket up here. You got pockets galore and it's great. And I even used it on this trip when I went with my mom for my birthday because I just wanted something a little bit bigger to not have to squeeze my camera in and out of this with my water bottle. It fits with my 
my camera just a little snugly and so I want to do something a little bit more roomy and I also put a pair of shoes in here for some reason I can't remember but anyways it's a really great bag just for me I was getting a little too hot and sweaty but I absolutely use this bag in like the winter so that way I can pack a sweater in here or whatever else I need to keep warm and then I did want to mention really quick that occasionally I do like to bring a camera to the parks just because of you know obviously the YouTubes I might want to make a vlog or something like that or take some pictures or just get some cool footage so two cameras that I've brought a lot are my GoPro Hero 4 silver and then I bring the extra battery in the dual charging case because all you need is a mini USB to come out of here and then I can plug that into my mobile charger so if I ever want to take this with me it's not a lot to throw in a bag just to be able to record some cool video maybe some action shots so another camera that I bring with me is this point-and-shoot elf 330 HS power shot camera and it takes really good video it takes 1080p video it takes really nice pictures and I utilize this a lot in Disney World because I found myself taking a lot of pictures and it was killing the battery on my phone and it was two people using one battery pack instead of just me using it by myself so I found myself wanting to take a lot of pictures in Disney World I was using my phone at first and it was just killing the battery and so when I moved over to this I actually got pretty crisp pictures I got a lot of nice video and then in the meantime my phone wasn't dying super fast so these little cameras are nice and small and the battery is pretty small too I need to buy another battery just as like a spare but they're nice and small batteries you just throw an SD card in here and you can do whatever you want whether it's vlogging it's not the easiest vlogging camera just because of the fact that you can't really see yourself but these cameras are still really nice to travel with but I don't bring cameras all the time but when I do I normally bring those two little ones and with that being said that is it for my what's in my Disney parks bag video I hope this video was helpful for you if you are looking for some go-to stuff to keep in your Disney parks bag whether it be that you're going to the Disney parks for the first time whether it be the US parks or the ones overseas or you're an annual pass holder just trying to work and whittle down what you really want to bring to the parks it has taken some time and some trips to find out what I really like to bring as well as what type of bag that I like to bring I think finding the right bag is like key or maybe you're a person who's minimalistic and you just bring your phone a wallet and you're done but that's not how I like to live my life like I said I'm a chronic overpacker and I've worked really hard on narrowing down what are things that I need to make my experience at Disney the best all this stuff here I bring with me almost every time I go and I found that it makes all my park trips just a little bit better if you have anything that you put in your Disney park bag that I did not mention in this video let me know in the comment section down below because it just might help me make my experience better the next time I take a trip to a Disney park but also anybody who watches this video if they check out the comments and see your recommendations it might be a perfect recommendation for that specific person all my social media links are in the description down below so if you want to check out any of my social media including my Disney Instagram yeah I have a Disney Instagram go check it out that's all in the description down below if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up if you loved it consider subscribing to my channel otherwise I think that is it for me you guys thank you so very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned something and I wish you the best on your next adventure to a Disney park no matter where in the world it may be thank you so much for watching stay beautiful have a marvelous day and I will see you guys next time bye